Hey y'all, so we're about to leave the house to go. We're gonna get smoothies at Smoothie King and then we're gonna go to Home Goods. We might go to Bed Bath and Beyond. Um and it just started raining. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Okay, this foundation I swear is darker. Dude, that's from old school. Oh no. They, they know what I'm talking about. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay. This looks look in the camera. Look how dark my face looks. Okay, we're gonna have to buy a new foundation. It's on my list anyways, but just to cover that up. You're saying you think your face looks dark? Yeah, like my foundation is orangey. It's like too dark for my actual skin tone. I mean, look at that. It's embarrassing. I swear it doesn't usually look like that. Does it? I don't know. I can't believe it's raining. Right as we leave, it started raining. I mean, yeah, it was like right when we walked out of the door. Literally. I got in the car before it started raining and now it's raining. Hopefully it quits before. Um, I always have to go that way when I leave in the morning. Otherwise I have to do this, the three point turn. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm glad I didn't do my hair. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna blow dry. I'm just gonna let it air dry. Good thing because it's now raining. But anyways, yeah, we're just gonna run a couple errands today. I think we're gonna run by Target too because we need a couple, we need dryer sheets, number one, because I'm trying to get the laundry done today um, and we need batteries for our um, TV remote so probably do a little bit of a target run as well we'll see you later we'll see you when we get our smoothies I bought that koozie my hand be cold <sighs> um, okay I got Island Impact not as good as I remember honestly I feel like they just didn't make them that good today because Morgan got like his favorite one and he said that it um, needs more ice or something like it's not frozen enough it is, I mean, it's good. It's, uh, he gets um, Blueberry Heaven. It is really good. Island Impact is what I used to always get in college. It's like mango, papaya, pineapple. But there's something in this that tastes like has a weird aftertaste. But it's still good. Like, yeah, I'm going to drink the whole thing. It's delicious. Mm. So now we're headed to Home Goods. I'll let you guys know what we find. Gotta get that <laughs> money shot. Okay, so we're leaving Walgreens. Um, we just stopped to get a little Coke Zero. And I wanted to get chips. Um, we're having meatball subs and I wanted to get chips to go with it. So that's what we did. Um, we're gonna do a little chip review. Hey y'all, so let me show you what we got really quick and then we're gonna do a little chip taste test. I don't know about y'all, but I love trying like the weird chip flavors that come out and we saw two at Walgreens and they were on sale. So we got both. Um, you don't know what that was though? I don't know. Stump. Morgan just took out our trash and was like gaggies. It's something so was bad. in there that was not good. I can't think of what it is. Like we didn't throw anything like no chicken or anything weird in there. Yeah. Um, so we got two of these hand towels. They're like gray for our guest bathroom. And we also got two of like the regular size towels to match it. They are so soft. These are from Home Goods, by the way. I don't know if I said that. The brand is um, Cass Casa Spa Quick Dry. So the little ones were five dollars. I think these were uh, five ninety nine, so six dollars. And they're just really soft. And I really wanted um, more of like a uniform look in the guest uh, guest bathroom. So we got this really cute pot from Home Goods. I'm obsessed with it. This is gonna go on our back patio. Um, we're like finally getting around to decorating our patio now that it's gonna be summer. We have like a chair design that we're gonna hopefully build in a few weeks and we already have cushions for it. I found a really cute rug. It was really inexpensive outdoor rug on Amazon. It's like $30 for like a four by six. Fingers crossed it's cute, but yeah, it's gonna be really cute. So anyways, we got that. Um, we got like dryer sheets at Target. Couldn't find anything I needed at Target. None of my skincare was there. They didn't have my foundation. We went to Walgreens and everything was really overpriced. So I'm just gonna get it at HB tomorrow. But let's do a little 
Good job. Oh, and the candle. Show them the candle. This is Morgan's idea. And I'm so on board with it. So we went to Bed Bath & Beyond just for the candle. There you go. That's, that's the best candle you could ever buy. It's It smells amazing. I can actually smell it today. Blessed. <clears throat> and it smells so good and it's really strong. So we skipped the uh, candles at Home Goods and we went over there to get that one. I'm really excited to light it tonight. But the two chips we got are Spicy Cheddar Jack. That one I'm more excited about. And then this one is Filet and Hot Barbecue. Which I think good. Morgan's more excited. Okay, which one do we do first? I feel like we should do this one because it's going to be less spicy than this one, I think. Okay. So we'll start mild. Okay. Smaller than I thought they'd be. It's a hard note for me. It kind of tastes like spicy, just like regular. Yeah. Not very cheesy. Okay. I mean, I still eat those. I feel like these are like my amount of spice. I'm not dying. I could eat those. Okay. Pull it. Ooh. These are dark. These are going to be better for sure. Better. That's where it's at. Mm -hmm. These are good. I don't mm. think these are as spicy as the regular Flamin' Hots either. No. I actually really like these. Mm. But I love all Flamin' Hot chips. These are really good. Yeah, those aren't bad at all. Love. So anyways, that's literally all we got. Like, we just couldn't find anything that we went looking for, I feel like. We got the candle. We got the pot, which we were looking for. The towels were impromptu because I couldn't find pillows, which is what we were really looking for at Home Goods was pillows for our couch, our bed, and our front room. I already have some picked out on Amazon. I just wanted to check Home Goods first because I have a gift card. Didn't find anything, so I'm just going to order the ones from Amazon today. If I remember, I'll like insert photos and links of the one I bought or the ones I'm buying on Amazon. And yeah, I think we're going to put up our headboard. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, let's get after it. Okay, I'm about to start cooking dinner and we're gonna start with these um, turkey meatballs. You just cook them up in some sauce. They're already fully cooked, so you're just like reheating them basically. It says simmer for 15 minutes. I'm gonna be using this Good and Gather marinara sauce. We haven't tried this one yet, but you know, we bought it. So here we go. So basically I just add water to like about to here. Oh, I just add water to like here. Shake it and it really clears out the rest of the sauce. Okay. Just gonna push those down in there. We're going to be using these Pepperidge Farm buns. They're top sliced hot dog buns. And I just thought that would be perfect. Hopefully they're big enough. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, so we're simmering about 10 minutes left. I tasted the sauce. It's good, but I think it could use a little, you know, depth. So I'm going to add in just a bay leaf and let that kind of simmer in there. I really like bay leaf and sauce. I just think it like rounds it out really nicely. And I'm gonna add some, I'm also gonna add some oregano and basil. Normally I would just do like an Italian seasoning blend, but they didn't have any last time I was at the store. So we're just gonna use these two for now. Probably looks like a lot, but it's not coming out very quickly, so. And if you like these little jars, um, Morgan's mom got them for me for Christmas. I'm obsessed. Me and her have like a kitchen organiza organization obsession. So she got me these and they come with the labels. You just put them on there. It's so nice. 
I'm obsessed. And then let me show you what they're on. Um, so then she got me this like clear acrylic stand for them. It's perfection. It can go wide or you can make it tinier depending on your like drawer size or whatever you're using that drawer for. Um, but yeah, I'm just obsessed. I'll link this stuff for you down below. But it was like a really easy project, kind of therapeutic and really fun. And I still have lots of room for extra spices as we get new seasonings. Um, I kind of put like our dessert ones up here. Um, ones that I use a little bit less often. And then down here, ones I use all the time. So like basil, oregano, cumin, sesame seed, chili powder, garlic powder, ginger, and bay leaf. So that is that. I'm obsessed. All right. So this is how it's looking. It's been 15 minutes since it started simmering. So looking delicious. And I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven, get it ready to broil. Um, and then assemble our sandwiches. All right, y'all, so here is the final product. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. Like, tell me that doesn't just look delicious. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm going to have ranch of mine, of course, and a few chips. Okay, y'all, I got my Ellie subscription. Ignore that. We had breakfast tacos this morning. We haven't cleaned up. But I got my Ellie subscription outfit. I actually didn't for I didn't remember to pick one, so they just sent one, and I saw it on the photo, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to be sending that back. But I tried it on, and I kind of love it. Like, I think it's kind of so cute. It reminds me of those styrofoam cups. Y'all know the ones I'm talking about that are, like, teal with purple? It reminds me of that. This is just a top. I'm not wearing a sports bra. You probably should be. It has this cute little like crop. I just told Morgan, I'm gonna start working out. So now I have all these cute outfits and I just love it. And it comes with this cute little like over thingy, has a hood, but I just think it's so fun. So that's the Ellie subscription outfit of the month. Hey y'all, so we're on the way to my parents' house for dinner. My sister's coming in town for she had to like get her car looked at or something. I think her AC's messed up and it's under warranty. So she's like going to the specific dealer that she got it at. I don't know. She's coming into town, which is fun. So we're gonna go over there and have dinner. My dad is picking up burgers and that's what we're doing tonight. We're just gonna hang out for a couple of hours. It's currently six o'clock. Um, probably go home before nine, call it a day. So that was our Sunday. I got meal prep done. The egg cups are done as you saw. Already cleaned up the kitchen after meal prep, so we have a clean kitchen, almost done with laundry. It was really hard to catch up after that snowstorm, like knocked out our washer for some reason, and Morgan had to fix it. We had to wait like a week and a half for the part. It was just like a nightmare. Finally, it's up and running, and I finally had time to get around to like doing all the laundry that's just been laying around the house. So it was mostly a productive Sunday. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I did nothing, so. I guess. Morgan took a nap <laughs> and played a little game and we took a shower. It went bad when we got breakfast tacos this morning. Yeah, those breakfast tacos make you want to sleep. Yeah. But I have been thinking all weekend I'm going to have a productive Sunday. I'm going to get stuff done because I haven't had a Sunday like that, y'all, in so long. Most of the meal preps y'all see are not happening on Sundays. Um, it's like I can't get my life together until Monday for some reason. So I'm really happy about today and we're ready to have a great week. So we'll probably stop filming here. If I remember to film my burger, I will. If you're in the San Antonio area, Chester's Burgers Supreme. They're so good. So 
It's a great place to check out. And their fries, unmatched, delicious. So that's where we're getting tonight. Yay. And we'll see y'all in the next uh, weekend vlog. Bye. Oh, we're on the move. Oh. <laughs> Got the chase going on. <laughs> who's, who's gonna be first to the top of the hill? Oh, look at the babies. <laughs> That's so funny.